Hello, today as part of Holy Week, I thought we might just look at our hands because they are the most remarkable thing, the muscles and the way the bones are created to uh, make them so useful to us. Uh, an extraordinary creation, but I'm, uh, and, and, and this, this diagram illustrates just how complex uh, each of our hands is. But I'm drawn to thinking about hands today because I saw recently a set of lithographs by Arnold Dagani. Uh, he died in 1985, but he was a, 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 a born in Romania uh, because he was a Jew. He suffered uh, in the hard labour camps under under the Nazis, and he saw in his reflections a similarity between Christ's suffering and that of the Jews I I under the Nazis. And so he's produced this set of lithographs. There's text as well, but I'm just showing the very simple drawing of hands, but quite expressive, the way he uses hands as a theme for that journey of Christ from his trial to his final entombment. So you've got a picture of Jesus' hands being tied with rope. You've got a picture of Jesus lifting and holding his cross. You've got a picture of Jesus raising his hands to bless the women of Jerusalem in the traditional Stations of the Cross. You've got a picture of the nails in Jesus' hands. But he also uh, includes, because it's based on the Stations of the Cross, uh, the uh, ones which focus more on the people watching. So you've got the... Um, Simon of Cyrene's hands as he helps Jesus uh, with his cross, the hands of Jesus' mother as she reaches out to him on the, on the cross. And one of the gentle hands which lifted him into his tomb. I think as we look at our hands today we can see ourselves um, both using them uh, to give care, to offer love, to show compassion. Uh, and no doubt also we do things with our hands and with our bodies that are not so creative, not so kind perhaps. But I wanted us just today perhaps bearing in mind the significance of hands in this story of Jesus' last days, to think about our own hands, to marvel at the wonder of them, and just to ask God to help us to use them in the best way possible for our benefit and for the benefit of those around us.